Thanks for being here. Lots to talk about in the news. Let's get into it. There was an interesting moment. I don't know if you saw this. Yesterday, at the confirmation hearing of Donald Trump's new attorney general, during questioning, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham cautioned that when it comes to reading memos, President Trump is, quote, a one-pager kind of guy. <laughs> so illiterate. He's saying... He's saying... <laughs> Trump is functionally illiterate. That's what he's saying, isn't it? You can only hold Trump's attention for one page of a document. <laughs> so at least there's a good reason why Trump hasn't read the Constitution. <laughs> you know? He's a... <laughs> a one-pager kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping he's a one-term kind of guy. <laughs> In other political news, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sent the President a letter this morning saying that his State of the Union address to Congress will not be taking place as long as the government shutdown continues. Unfortunately, Pelosi's letter was more than one page. <laughs> so Trump didn't read it. Um, <laughs> Pelosi did say Trump could submit a written version of his speech, which is pretty strategic on her part. She's going right for his biggest handicap, spelling. <laughs> Moving on, in entertainment news, Netflix just announced that they will be raising subscription prices by up to $2 a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is awful news for the person whose account you use. <laughs> Free of charge, because you have their password. <laughs> If you think you're going to get out of paying Netflix, you're wrong, because they're now developing a new software to track users who are sharing passwords. So let's have a look. Raise your hand if this affects you. How many people here share a Netflix account? <laughs> All right, go get them, Netflix. <laughs> And here's an odd medical story. A woman in China was recently diagnosed with an extremely rare condition that caused her to lose the ability to hear men's voices. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, doctors offered to treat the woman, and she was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> it looks like it could be a slow recovery. Medical experts say it might be years before she ever hears the phrase, um, actually... <laughs> you can... St she can still hear other women just fine, but men's voices are apparently muted. As a result, Melania Trump asked the woman to cough directly into her mouth. <laughs> and finally today, Nike just released a pair of shoes with a very high-tech feature. They're the first pair of sneakers ever that can be laced up by an app on your phone. Yeah, and this is cool. They even have a bully feature which will tie your shoelaces together. <laughs> But apparently, this sneaker app is really convenient. Did you hear about this? Yeah. Yeah, so all you, you, to tie your shoes, all you have to do is take out your phone, type in your password, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, open the Nike app, <laughs> scroll down through shoe settings, select <laughs> the thickness of your laces, set the tightness of your shoes. Oh, then you've got to do a quick update of the app because it's not compatible with your new pair. <laughs> Skim through the terms and conditions, take a quick survey, input your type of shoe, and boom, shoes tied. <laughs> Simple as that. It's easy.